Relationship maintenance, there is no such thing as a perfect relationship for there will always come a time when things change, fights and conflicts take place, and people end up parting ways. But as a new year starts, it is also the best time for you to start anew and bring a fresher perspective to your relationship. Here, you will learn everything you need to know to make sure that your relationship will turn out for the best and become better and more wonderful for the next months and years. Chapter 1 Relationship Resolutions Basics The following are the most basic but undoubtedly most important things that you have to keep in mind when making relationship resolutions. Follow them and start creating the best relationship ever. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances, if there is any reaction, both are transformed. C.G. Jung, The Basics, If you are just like most of the couples today, chances are your previous year has been filled with both good and bad things. Happiness and Sorrow, Triumphs and Conflicts With the start of another brand new year, why not take some time to finally say goodbye and let go of all those not-so-good things that happened in your relationships the previous year? For just a few minutes, sit down with your partner and discuss of the best ways that will help in making your current relationship way better than before. Forgiveness is the key, so that the two of you will be able to move forward for the brand new year with a positive mind frame. It is a must that forgive and forget what happened in the past. If you have long been nursing some hurt within you and you find it hard to forgive your partner before, this is the perfect time to let things go and embrace the concept of forgiving. Refusing to forgive can be similar to a poison slowly but surely seeping through your whole being, filling with such bitterness and eventually setting us a permanent wedge between the two of you. When you forgive, it does not necessarily mean that you will condone the things done by your partner. More importantly, Forgiveness means that you have finally come to peace with it in order for you to finally move forward. Problem evaluation is a must, take time that you evaluate the biggest problems in your relationship. For some, this might be lack of communication. For others, this can be finances and a myriad of other issues. Discuss the problem and think of ways on how you can improve things. Listen to the ideas of one another in order for the two of you to have your equal share on the decision. Change good for the better, talk about the ways which can help in improving the already good things in your relationship. All couples have their own strengths in their relationship. Discuss these things and turn these into a validation that signifies that the two of you are doing things right. Talk things out to make good things even better and make a vow that you will never take for granted the good aspects of your relationship, talk about romance and intimacy, when we speak of romance. This should encompass your sex life. There is no denying that this is an integral part of your relationship so make sure that you do not set this aside. Laugh together and be playful about this. Come up with ways on how you can make this part of your relationship better and happier. Think of things to look forward to this new year. Do you plan to buy your own house this year or start a family? This new year might be the best time for you to start making some plans. Probably the two of you would like to become fitter and healthier. You can do it together as this can be a fun way of achieving a goal that you have set for yourself. Plan and cook meals together. Go for stroll together and hold hands. No matter what plans you might have, at the end of the day, having each other this new year is the best gift that you can give to your partner. Chapter 2, Take Care of Yourself First, There Are Some People Who End up forgetting about themselves once they become a part of a relationship. However, for a relationship to work, it is important that both parties know how to take care of oneself for them to better take care of each other. Discover the importance of taking care of yourself first before anything else, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection, Gautama Buddha, self-care is the key for a better relationship. Taking care of yourself when in a relationship is as important as tending to the relationship itself. It is a must that you take care of yourself prior to fixing your relationship. Here, you can apply the old adage stating that you can never give away things that you do not have. Until you feel happy and peaceful, you will never have a happy and peaceful relationship, if you choose to skip such steps and jump right away to your trouble relationship's murky waters, chances are you will be going straight down under. This is the reason why you need to do everything in your power so that you can stabilize yourself prior to getting this over your head. 
Prior to confronting the core issues of your relationship, first, you need to follow the following steps in order to increase the chance of being successful, commit to staying okay whatever happens along the way, promise to yourself that you will still take care of yourself and remain okay whatever will happen in your relationship. Once your happiness completely depends with your partner being there by your side all the time, you will end up feeling powerless and fearful. This will then mean that there is more likely that you will be engaging in ineffective actions like pleading and begging. When this happens more often, the less will your partner want to stick to the relationship. Why is that? A good reason for this is that your partner will see you as someone emotionally dependent and needy. The things that another person will do for your sake will still be not enough. For you because you will always expect more from that person. It is something that will not escape your partner and will make him, her fearful of being consumed and eaten up by your unending demands for care and attention, one more reason is that it can be a real burden for one person to feel completely responsible for another's happiness. Majority of people feel the need of running away if this is the case. The partner who tries to be everything to another will then feel anger and resentment when placed in this kind of demanding position. Thus snuffing out any sense of fun and playfulness that are vital to have an enduring relationship, when you respect yourself and believe in your own capacity of thriving whether you are in a relationship or single, you will surely come from a place full of strength and empowerment. These two attributes can attract other people and provoke respect, which will then make you a more desirable and lovable partner, commit to staying happy with your life despite feeling miserable, there is no need for you to wait to plan some fun activities you can do on your own until you get your relationship perfect. If you want, you can join classes where you can learn interesting pastimes such as gourmet cooking, playing the guitar or such. List down places in your area or others nearby that you plan to visit. Learn brand new skills, brand out, and broaden your own personal world, when you have fun and stay active, you will feel much happier and even contented with yourself. On top of that, this will make you more attractive to the eyes of your partner. When you lead your own life with gusto, have a sense of adventure and take good care of yourself, no matter what state your relationship might be in, you will increase the likelihood of your partner wanting to spend more time with you. Chapter 3, Learn How to Have the Benefit of the Doubt Mentality no relationship will thrive and become successful if one is always doubtful of the other's words. Feelings and Actions Having the so-called benefit of the doubt mentality can greatly help in changing the flow of your relationship to the best direction, love chooses to believe the best about people. It gives them the benefit of the doubt. It refuses to fill in the unknowns with negative assumptions. And when our worst hopes are proven to be true, love makes every effort to deal with them and move forward. As much as possible, love focuses on the positive. Stephen Kendrick, The Love Dare Give your partner the benefit of the doubt, have you ever done some stupid, dumb or hurtful things which greatly affected your partner? Chances are almost all persons in this world have unintentionally or intentionally hurt someone they love. In fact, Research showed that a lot of people will do anything hurtful to their partner in all long-term relationships, all relationships are bound to experience their own share of conflicts. Whether it is confusion, misunderstandings or disagreements. If you known and have been someone pretty long enough, eventually, something will take place that will result to tension. People will make you feel frustrated, angry, disappointed, hurt, or upset. Your partner is human, just like you, so there is actually no way to get around this. Once such situations happen, will you respond with anger or will you give your partner the benefit of the doubt, when you give another person the benefit of the doubt, it only means that when you still lack all the needed information. Even in times of conflict, you will still be willing to assume the best, set aside the negative judgment and respond in a favorable way. Love itself can give the benefit of the doubt. It will not make the mind filled with the negative assumptions. It will seek to work its way around the difficult situations even after being proven wrong or getting disappointed, as stated on the Bible, love is something that bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love is not naive and instead, it gives the benefit of the doubt. Love chooses to see the best in other people. You do not just give this kind of benefit simply because you want to. 
more importantly, you give your partner the benefit of the doubt because you choose to and because you love. This act is selfless. So, how will you successfully give your partner the benefit of the doubt, love, knowing how to love someone is the key here. You simply cannot expect one person to completely accept you for who you are and then expect perfection from them. This love is not unconditional. Conditional loving is based in selfishness, something that will not let you give a person the benefit of the doubt, patience, patience is needed when looking for the truth and trying to resolve conflict. Jumping to conclusions is not part of giving benefit of the doubt, understanding, it is important to try putting yourself in the shoes of the other person. For all you know, they are probably afraid of being themselves to do rejection, abandonment or any other issues. Just assume that your partner has tried to be truthful and grow with you before working with them towards it, forgiveness, the last but definitely not the least thing that you need is to learn to forgive and forget. Never let yourself dwell in bitterness. When you finally let your initial anger go, let it stay in the past and do not let it cloud your mind over again, chapter 4. Change your blame them mentality, the blame them mentality is another big no-no in a relationship. Letting other people take the blame is an act that will never do you and bring you to any good. Learn how to change this negative mentality today, you can't lift a relationship up if you keep walking over the other person's mistakes. Anthony Lycione, get rid of the blames in your relationship, as far as placing blame in relationship is concerned, it is sometimes much easier to see your partner's faults than those of your own. One of the biggest issues with couples that point fingers to one another is that most of the time, the two parties are right or both are just wrong. All persons have their own flaws and some ways that they try to defend themselves, pushing away other people from them. These defenses for protecting yourself become much stronger once you get close to another person, with old feelings triggering ways in you that you do not expect or are not even aware of, if you want to improve your relationship and make it thrive and last longer. The key lies on knowing and challenging these defenses that you have. Instead of adapting the blame them mentality and choosing to focus your attention on the flaws of your partner, why not look at your own limitations first, avoid building a case, once a conflict arises, fueling the fire is easy by using all types of proof of the character flaws of your partner. A single morning of accidentally overcooking the egg can already lead to a full-blown case of your partner not attempting to learn how to cook where you catalog all incidences when a similar situation happened. Case building is one of the biggest issues in all relationships. Try to avoid doing this if you do not want your relationship to be always crowded with different cases day in and day out, drop it, when the blame is already going back and forth, with things getting out of a control, it will no longer be possible to resolve who is really at fault. During such arguments, there is actually no winner. The battle could have been won, but the war is lost. Just try to keep your perspective on the important things. If your aim is to get close all over again, it will not hurt to just drop the past, put your guard down and be nice to one another. Unilateral disarmament might be the initial step to get back the loving and easy flow of feelings between the two of you, calm down, relationships can trigger ways in you that you rarely expect. A lot of things can set you off, particularly when your defenses are in full gear. Once you feel triggered, try to focus and relax before you react. Fighting with the fire will not do you any good. Managing the temper of your partner will be easier when you calm yourself first before you approach him, or communicate your feelings, after you have calmed down and gave your partner a chance of expressing their own perception, that is the time for you to explain how you felt with no need to feel victimized or place the blame. Stay away from using generalized statements or victimized language if you do not want things to go from worst to worst. Once you changed your blame them mentality, you give your relationship the best chance of staying passionate, equal and fulfilling. Chapter 5, Learn More About the Projecting Mindset, Even Relationships Need the Projecting Mindset. It is not enough that you just plan to do things. You need to stay determined and change how your mind perceives things in order to ensure the best for your relationship. Here are some tips to help you get the right mindset for your relationship. Our thoughts and our mindsets greatly affect our perception of what life is really about. Wogu Donald, a right set of mind leads to a relationship that will make you feel right, 
having an incorrectly projected mindset can negatively affect your relationship and yourself alike. If you always think that there is no reason for you to be loved by anyone or that others will leave you when they get to know you, you will end up being a taker and a needy partner. Before you know it, you are already proving yourself right, with your partner no longer wanting to stay by your side. Of course, this is not what you want to happen but once you continue depriving yourself of the good things, you will never be able to share and give because you feel empty within. Healthy relationships are those that share and give and if you will keep thinking negatively, there is no chance for your relationship to be healthy, to help you out, here. To help you out, here are some tips that will help you have the right projecting mindset that will take your relationship towards a better direction, never assume, assuming can take you to places and sadly, those places are not happy ones. Assuming is like a poison that can consume your mind and it is not something good. For instance, your previous partner tends to send secret emails to others when you are not looking which led to a breakup. You then found a new one and when you see your present partner checking the email, you instantly assume that he, she is just the same with your previous partner. You jump in and start accusing when the truth is the email is only work-related and nothing else. It is important that not all persons are the same and the flaw of a previous partner might not necessarily be the same fault of your present one. Jumping into conclusions right away will push your partner away from you before you even know it, live and stay in the now, trying to relive the past is not good, same with excessively focusing on the future. There are some who got so stuck with their past that their existence is almost mandatory. Meanwhile, there are also those who live only for the future, with their lives already planned out. It is good that you take some important lessons from your past and use them for your present, or plan for a trip that you have long been waiting for. But, never let the past take full control of your present in the same way that you should not plan for every single detail for your future. Living and staying in the now will let things fall into the right places as they are supposed to. With your decisions being based on your present and not on your past or what you want to be in your future, be grateful, one of the secrets for projecting the right mindset is by being grateful for what you have in life and where you are at present. Thanking the blessings that your relationship has in the moment will help you project more positivity in your life. And save you from the being drowned in the adversities that might come your way. Projecting the right mindset is easy so long as you and your partner help one another towards the direction that you want your relationship to take. Chapter 6. Build Compassion One of the key components of a successful relationship is being compassionate towards one another. When you feel like your relationship is lacking this one important aspect, this is the best time for you to start learning how you can put compassion back to you and your partner's lives. What matters in relationship isn't how you see each other, but whether you see each other. Eric Mikael Leventhal, a relationship with compassion is a relationship with happiness, people who are compassionate are people who are happier. Couples feel compassion for one another have more understanding and joy in their relationships. Compassion, the combination of consideration, kindness, concern, and empathy, is considered as the cornerstone for people who want to have a fulfilling love life. When you feel down and sad, the simplest gesture of compassion from your partner can already bring so much difference to your mood. Encouraging words and warm hugs can already vanish any discomfort that you might feel. Having someone to hold your hand, giving you the emotional support you need through staying by your side, can easily ease away any pain, whatever it might be about, relationships that lack compassion tend to be harsh. Once this happens, interactions will be less caring leading to the building up of resentments that can make you feel as if you are the only one who is in that relationship, development and expression of compassion can establish a safe zone for your love as well as other feelings and issues which might come your way. Nothing can replace your partner's sympathy or soft touch. This is something that can heal the two of you, something that creates that emotional security that you have never even thought you needed. In the first place, building compassion is very easy, with desire being the first element. Here, it is important to ask your partner about the needs that he or she might have and then explain your very own needs. Through such discussion, it will be easier to show compassion to one another because both of you know where your energy should be focused. The second thing that might be a bit challenging is to commit yourself to always keep compassion intact in any dialogue. 
A compassionate relationship is devoid of harshness and once this actually occurs. The two of you need to pinpoint and shut this down right away so that you will be able to return to relating using the right manner. A simple but effective exercise for enhancing compassion is looking into one another's eyes. While movies might have extremely romanticized this action, this seldom happens in the modern relationships. Instead of looking intently on the television, stop and look deeply into your partner's eyes and sense the emotions that he or she has in order to create more compassion and depth. It is good to show compassion but it is better to be compassionate. If your mate shares a problem with you and you show concern, you make your partner aware that you will not only be there but at the same time, you also care about what your partner is going through. It is something that your partner will feel and will also return this kind of gesture in the same way that you did, make sure that you build and practice compassion as an essential part of your day-to-day -day loves. Nothing is more palpable than knowing that your partner cares for you in the same way that you do. Chapter 7 Change your mindset thinking before you speak, saying the wrong words at the wrong time can wreak havoc on any relationship. Before you open your mouth and blurt things out, it is important to think things over to avoid hurting the feelings of your partner. There are tips that you can keep in mind in order for you to follow this kind of mindset. Sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will break our hearts, Robert Fulgham, all I really need to know I learned in kindergarten, choose your words and choose them wisely, even the simplest words can inspire loyalty, uplift hearts and change people's lives. They can give life to dead things or they can also mutilate what used to be whole hearts. Words can also be an assassin to a character, estrange a soul and show undue kindness and cruelty, in any relationship. Thinking before you actually speak is a must due to the word's awesome and sometimes destructive power. All relationships have its own share of emotional garbage and unresolved issues which can affect them on a negative way. For the preservation of a relationship and make this thrive, thinking about the things you will say is essential as well as considering whether the words you will speak are coming from a loving and kind heart or a heart that flows with bitterness, rage, anger, and other unproductive emotions. Once unkind phrases and words escaped your mouth, you can never take them back. Even if you try hard to say something different or something better, or fix the damage caused by the words you said in the heat of an argument, there is no means for retracting them, even if you try really hard. The damage is done. However, there is still hope and that is by thinking before you even speak, one important thing to remember is to consider first the effect that your words can have on the other person. Will it make them feel bad? Will it lessen their confidence in themselves? Such things should be taken in consideration to avoid hurting feelings, saying things involves timing and you have to remember that timing is everything. Avoid saying negative things during emotional or hectic times. Never start any heavily emotional conversation if there is no adequate time to talk things out, consider your motives for speaking. If you just want to say something for the sake of speaking, then Think again. Will the words sound unkind? Should you just leave them as they are, unsaid so as to avoid any negative emotions? It is important to have true and good motives for speaking. Thinking before you speak is vital for any relationship as there is no way to take the words back. Once a heart is broken, it will be broken no matter how much you try to put the pieces back. Chapter 8 Maintain Your Own Boundaries Boundaries are essential for relationships, especially the personal ones. Learn how to set and maintain your own boundaries in order to have a fruitful relationship in the future. When we fail to set boundaries and hold people accountable, we feel used and mistreated. This is why we sometimes attack who they are, which is far more hurtful than addressing a behavior or a choice. Breen Brown, The Gifts of Imperfection, Let Go of Who You Think You're Supposed to Be and Embrace Who You Are, Boundaries are a must for successful relationships, boundaries refer to the set of personal limits reinforcing your sense of autonomy and identity. These can be emotional, physical, sexual and spiritual. Setting them is your choice for protecting yourself and demanding respect. Boundaries can vary from one relationship to another and can also change after some time, determine your boundaries, consider the things that you like and dislike. Know the attitudes, experiences and behaviors that make you feel uncomfortable. 
Clearly understanding your own boundaries can help you in firmly and clearly setting them and recognizing if they are already being violated. Be assertive in communicating your boundaries, when you set boundaries, do this in a direct and clear manner. Determine the boundary issues and with the use of I statements, you have to own your feelings as far as these are concerned, create a response to violations of your boundaries, come up with a possible response in case your boundaries are violated. You can reiterate your own boundaries again and acknowledge the failure to respect your limits. Make your partner aware of the consequences of disregarding your boundaries, follow through your boundaries, be firm and make sure that you follow through your boundaries and stick to the consequences that you have planned. Failing to follow through your boundaries will make your partner think that it is okay for you if he or she crosses your boundaries again. If your partner fails to respect the boundaries you have or do not take them seriously, it will make you feel that your needs, desires, and feelings are unimportant, meaningless, and insignificant. This is not healthy for any relationship so make sure that the two of you discuss one another's boundaries in order to make your relationship better. Chapter 9, Use Affirmations to Stay on the Course Learn the different affirmations that you can say to yourself every day in order for you to follow through the course of your relationship resolution. The key to a successful relationship isn't just in the words, it's in the choice of punctuation. When you're in love with someone, a well-placed question mark can be the difference between bliss and disaster, and a deeply respected period or a cleverly inserted ellipsis can prevent all kinds of exclamations. David Levi Van, The Lover's Dictionary, positive affirmations for a positive relationship, to build a healthy relationship, things will start first and most essentially with you. This is just great as it means that you have all the power to build a loving and positive energy and carry out your part so that you can nurture all characteristics that a healthy relationship must have. There are several affirmations that will help you in staying on the right course and make your relationship as healthy as you want it to be, I am completely in love with my partner. I constantly strive to nourish and grow the love that me and my partner have for one another, I am starting to fall more and more in love with my partner, I am happy with my part. And I will do everything to maintain it that way, I have deep respect for my partner, I can be completely myself whenever I am with my partner, I can clearly communicate my needs and wants, I can draw my own boundaries if needed, I always consider my partner's perspective, I will strive to create a healthy relationship with my partner. I am going to be a wonderful spouse in the future. I will act with care and respect for my partner, I feel much closer to my partner as each day passes. I deserve to have a healthy relationship, I consider it important to listen to what my partner has to say, one of my strengths is honest communication, to build a healthy and happy relationship is worth any and all of the effort for me. Chapter 10, The Benefits of Your Relationship Resolution, Now that you have finally reached the end of this book. You have surely realized how much you can actually do in order to bring your relationship to a higher and better level. But what are the benefits that you can expect to get out of your relationship resolution? I find the best way to love someone is not to change them, but instead, help them reveal the greatest version of themselves. Steve Mirabile, Unapologetically You, Reflections on Life and the Human Experience, Perks of Your Relationship Resolution, As New Year Start, Millions of People from Different Parts of the World Make Their Own Resolutions, From Saving Money, Spending Less, Losing Weight and the Likes. Unfortunately, there is a single resolution that is not heard that much, let's work on our relationship. However, even though this might not really be spoken, most couples that are going through some rough waters in their relationship always wish for the best when another year comes their way. There are plenty of benefits that you will surely enjoy for the rest of the year when you create and follow through your relationship resolution for the next 12 months and many other years to come, a healthier relationship is bound to. Come your way, relationship resolutions pave the way for maintaining a healthy relationship. A healthy relationship is when two individuals show mutual respect for each other and remain true to themselves while still respecting the entirety of their partner down to their very core. True, this will require respect, patience and compromise but this will still be worth all the effort because being human beings, everyone is meant to connect on a deeper level with another person that they love and know that they are secure in their most crucial relationship.
you can re-establish the feelings and connections that got lost along the way, it is very common for long-time relationship to lose some feelings and connections as years pass by and they seem to grow too accustomed to the presence of one another. Through a relationship resolution, you can get the perfect chance to find everything lost and put them back again or better yet, take things to a higher level and change the whole face of your relationship. It helps you rekindle the fire and bring back the old flames that time seemed to have extinguished without you knowing it. You and your partner become better persons not just for your relationship but also for yourselves, relationship resolution is made not only for the sake of salvaging the relationship itself but more importantly, its purpose is to allow the two people involved in that relationship to find their self-worth to make them better for their partner and for the rest of the people around them. If you feel like you have lost yourself during the course of the relationship, this resolution will help you find your way and bounce back. This time better than ever. Thank you for listening to this free audiobook. For more updates, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share. We love to do some reviews for everyone. Until next time. God bless everyone.